Hey, we're hanging out! Playing more Monster Hunter! And uh, I want to avenge myself! <laughs> From the multiple times that I couldn't do that one quest. Uh, the quest Advanced Monsters in Ink. Is that a thing with Monsters Inc? Um, the Disney movie? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, so I have been training a little bit, getting back to Monster Hunter, because uh, it's been crazy uh, that I can't really, like, do, do stuff. Um, and I, I trained enough to get the, uh, and, and complete my uh, Cat Claw um, armor that uh, I learned from Gaijin Hunter uh, in his channel. So pretty good, pretty good cat claw armor here. Let's look at the statuses uh, as this guy. So yeah, I got I got myself to uh, attack boost level six, critical boost. We know uh, it adds a little bit more um, uh, damage to every critical hit that you make. Uh, protective polish. Whenever I polish, uh, it gives me a certain amount of time that it would not um, lessen the sharpness of my blade. Uh, Marathon Runner, which I just learned was a big thing for dual blade users because we use stamina for uh, the demon mode uh, speed sharpening because we just want to sharpen super quickly. And then this handicraft, this handicraft is really great because it gets us to, I don't know if we're going to see it here. No, we're not going to see it there. Let's look at the equipment info. It gets us to a smidge of white sharpness, which gives us mind's eye which is basically just hey attacks won't bounce so yeah it's pretty good um and because we have protective pol protective polish we're gonna keep that for a couple of minutes until we sharpen again and uh i'm excited about this set look it has paralysis it's a cat set uh par with paralysis and then there's this thing called helion mode where basically that, uh, let's see if we can look at it, uh, Helion, there you go, attacking in demon, mo demon mode turns every attack into critical hit, but it double sharpness degradation, but we have protective polish, we have a critical boost that adds to everything, and we have attack plus six, so pretty excited about this. Now, the only thing left is skill. <laughs> So I don't know if I have that, but we're gonna know today. So basically this is, uh, yeah, this, how, how many attempts is this now? I think this is four attempts. Uh, the last video that I made with uh, this same quest was with a friend, uh, Zero, hi Zero. Uh, and yeah, uh, we did our best. <laughs> That's what I can say. All right, since this is an advanced quest, we want to get we want to get all the help that we can get with the boids, spirit boids. Quest spirit boids, and then we're gonna try to think about who to start off with. I think it's Goss Harag that we start off with. And we want to get the boids from here. What we really want are the yellow boys because we want full stamina of course uh, the occasional materials uh, over there so oh uh, for those who don't know you can do this to these guys hit them with your kunai multiple times and then you get three drops pretty good Pretty good. Oh yeah, just the things I need. More armor spheres. That wasn't sarcastic. I really need them. Okay, so we're gonna get this void. Get more voids right here. And we're gonna get the brew hair at the end of this um, path here. Uh, this has been the best path that I feel I've been using uh, all this time that I've been playing. 
uh, if you continue down that path, if you review the video, if you if you want to, uh, the path actually ends up in the area where you get a brew hair, which basically amplifies some of the effects of your items. Uh, it's like it makes your common potions into uh, mega potion effects, which is great. So we can start with a brew hair, and we're gonna keep going finding us a little bit more of our spare boids topping us off with the uh, longest um, stamina bar that we can get so we're gonna get the spare boids from that area man I love the wire bug moves we got the thunder beetle so we can throw it to the tigrex I think uh, occasional mining outcrop. I always end with the Mizutsune, but I don't know if that's right. If that's a good thing. Okay, 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 okay. We got a Stink Mink. Maybe let's actually use that. We can lure our monsters to, uh, to places we need to. Okay, so we got max spare boy defenses. And we're gonna get, oh yeah, puppet spider, please. Puppet spiders to uh, be able to ride the monsters without needing to do mounting damage. Yeah. Occasional mine crop. I think we should be good with this. Uh, we can start with Ghost Haraki's there. So let's just eat some of the free meat. All right, one more. And then we're going to do mite seeds, mite seeds. And then we'll sharpen near the bear. Okay, here we go. Helion mode. And then we're gonna start running. Look at look at how slow my uh, look at how slow my oh that roar got me out of Helion mode that's crazy look at how slow my stamina is depleting oh shoot no way damn it look at how slow my stamina is depleting with Helion uh, with Marathon Runner uh, rather okay all right oh perfect we're gonna get a yellow. Spareboid right here. We're just going to jump on him. And do that. Oh. So I think I have never fought um, Ghost Harag with dual blades before. Ooh, and that might be a Oh my gosh, I thought I would really do great uh, with my new armor set. And I guess not. <laughs> Shoot. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. So that move, that uh that turn move is actually really expensive for our stamina and management. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We got we got paralysis on him. We're gonna do kunai right here, and then we're gonna start stabbing on him. Nicely done. Oh, he is asleep. We gotta stop this. All right, so great job. Now we're gonna do this. We gonna wake him up with fireworks, that's right. But we're going to sharpen first. And then we're gonna throw a kunai at these guys from this angle because the kunai goes through and then hits the, the Ghost Harag first. Which is something that I've like only discovered uh, maybe a couple of days ago, and I, I didn't realize it that um, the kunai goes through the bombs first, hitting the ghost harag, getting the 
uh, least amount of bonus damage on a sleeping monster because the kunai hits first. So, oh, shoot! Oh my gosh. So bad. Whoa. All right, here we go. Oh, he's rideable. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to uh, who's the closest? Who's the closest? I guess we're gonna go to the Tigrex. Okay, this is great. Doing well, doing well. All right. Do that. <laughs> he was just roaring. Oh my gosh. The Ghost Harag's uh, punches for, uh, oh shoot, for um, for this this mode is so intense. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, to launch ourselves. Ah uh, shoot! Ah oh, man, that was wrong. That was so wrong. I wanted to launch myself to the Tigrex. We have to sharpen right now because I am not on my protective polish mode. Oh yeah, we got two monsters fighting. Okay, now we're gonna do this right. We're not going to make the mistake. Okay, we gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run. Ride, 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 ride. All right, all right. We are not gonna make that same mistake. We're gonna launch ourselves after we do all the damage that we can do. All the damage we can do. Okay, now set it up and do that. Yes, now I can ride. Oh, I can't? No! No, 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 no. Why can't I? Dang. Okay, I guess we're going to deal a little bit of damage to her. And we're going to try and get all the loot. Before... Before she killed us. Oh my god, we're going to try to get the loot. Alright, alright. So, loot, loot, loot. Tigrex loot right here. Hey, we're doing okay. We're doing fine. That's cool. Need my doggy. Need my doggy. Where's the doggy? Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, doggy. There you go. Alright, so we need to sharpen. Where is Goss Harag? Now we're going to try. Oh, he's eating. Hey, we're doing okay, guys. Oh, shoot. Soon as I say we're doing okay. Woo! Oh, wasn't able to do that. Oh, too late. I have to, uh, drink. Oh, I need to drink some big things there. Okay. The Mega Potion I meant by big. Okay. Seeds. Ah, man. I need to... Adamant Seed. Let's do that. Might Seed. Let's do that. Uh, he's running away? No. Oh my gosh. Zutune again. Here with us again. Ah oh man, my uh, my protective polish um, timer is wasted. There is Gosharag right there. Oh my gosh, are they both fighting? No. Oh my god, they're all here? No, 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 all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna try and not tackle. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go.
We can run here. Katsu is being really good on us. We're gonna start jumping right now. Oh shoot. Woo! 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 Alright, we're gonna do this. Then do a demon mode and then fire away! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my god, get out of there. So that was a silk mine move that uh, plants a kunai onto Ghost Harag and then makes a lot of my um, moves uh, more critical, I think, is the term that I was trying to look for. Oh, this is a good spot for actually doing that again. Ah, damn. Okay, we need uh, stamina. I'm gonna move. Woo! Oh my gosh. Come on, stamina. Get back. Uh, get back to me. Alright, we're good. We're gonna sharpen again for our quick polish. Uh, our uh, protective polish. Whoa! Get out of there. Ooh! Close. Oh. Let's go! Oh man. Oh shoot! Strong! That was strong. Gotta move, gotta move. Oh, oh, oh! He's not doing well. Nice, come on, come on. Let's high combo, let's go. Oh yeah! We did it! We did that thing! So that thing was like uh, the perfect evade move from Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. And uh, what it does is basically that if you uh, catch him, oh yeah, we got him on uh, paralysis. We're gonna do this. We're gonna try to plant a kunai, and then do that, and then oh, parts broken. Yes, we're doing okay. We're doing good. Oh, dude, dude, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. This is great. Yeah, basically, like, they, uh, uh, my character sticks a kunai uh, into uh, Ghost Harag, and every time I hit him, there's a bonus damage while the kunai is there, um, and then it explodes into a bigger damage. Um, the other thing that I was telling about is the Silk Mine move, wherein I uh, basically try and uh, do a wire bug uh, skid, not skid, uh, a wire bug uh, dash. And if he tries to attack me during that dash, I actually do this like nice spinning move that attacks him. So it's like counter attacking while evading type of thing, which is cool and feels good when it happens. Oh, shoot, almost did that. Oh no, no, nope. Not going to fall for that. Ooh. Oh my god, that was awesome. Let's talk about uh, frame, like some some fighting games would like really... I don't know if there is an official term for it, but there is, uh, there's this moment where like, for example, you play Street Fighter and uh, when you hit an enemy, it... Oh shoot, I just ran straight for that. Uh, when you hit an enemy, there is this moment where uh, everything seems to, what do you call it, stop, um, or uh, the frame rate dips a little bit. But let me tell you, that frame rate, that frame rate dip uh, for uh, those moments feels perfect. Like it feels heavy, you know, like attacks are freaking heavy and uh, oh my god, I'm gonna die if I don't get out of here right now. Oh my god, this is really bad. Oh my god, we gotta heal, heal, heal. We gotta do a... Uh... Oh my god, yeah. I don't wanna make the same mistake. Ah, uh, did the same mistake. We gotta do a protective polish right here. Protective polish. Gotta be 
Yeah, was that what was I talking about? Um, yeah, that 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 brief moment uh, that things kind of drop in terms of frame rate is amazing. Like that feeling, just it feels heavy. Things feel like there's so much more oomph in the moment of uh, the attack. Yes. Oh yeah, is right. Oh yeah, is right. What okay, here? let's do this before the Anteca. <laughs> Those things over there try and uh, stop us from doing proper carves. Okay, got a beast gem. Great. I need more biles. Gosharag biles. Very rare um, items. All right, so I think we should. We're good here. Do we want to go back to camp and then get some, uh, no, I think we should be good. Yeah, we're, sh we're, we're still good here. Let's go. So why don't we now go to our Tigrex friend, Tigrex friend. Okay. So we're doing good, but it's taking us a little bit of time because we're now at 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes. And we want to, oh my goodness, as they're moving around, we want to settle this before 50 minutes are up. Oh, I see a shiny. Let me get this shiny. Okay, now we're going to do... Where is our Tigrex friend? Tigrex, Tigrex, I don't know what to call him a lot of times. Okay, okay, okay. He's going for that place, huh? Okay, ah. Uh, so. Okay, alright, alright. Woo. There you go, that's the perfect evade. So we're gonna try and use that as much as we can, but we're gonna try to heal up right now. This is a bad look for us. So this is a long guy, so we actually wanna try and use our uh, spinning move. Ah, oh, we weren't able to dodge that. Oh yeah, we did. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. The tail, the tail, the hit the tail hitbox. Too much. Woo! Too fast, too fast for me. Too fast for me. That was wrong, that was so wrong. That's okay, that's okay. Oh my gosh. Is that entire thing on the hitbox? Dang. I could swear I was in the middle of it. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta sharpen. We gotta sharpen right now. Okay. So sometimes we wait for uh, the, their attacks to finish before we do stuff. So for those who are just learning Monster Hunter, it's great to actually wait for them to finish their attacks because that gives them some recovery time and you are sure to be able to sharpen and do some other stuff like think if you uh, if you wait for that window. Oh, he's gonna spin. Ah, oh, shoot. So yeah, Monster Hunter is all about uh, watching the tells uh, of monsters. For those who don't know, um, I'm not at all the a really good Monster Hunter player, but I love this game to the extent of what I can actually, where I, I sometimes feel like a badass, even if I get like half my life damage like that. Ooh, gotta get out, get a drink. Oh my god! Ooh, I am so stressed out. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Not a good look. Ah. So sometimes, yeah, you wait for uh, you wait for things like that before you actually uh, 
Uh, as you can see there, I was just like laying down on the floor, uh, keeping myself like I wasn't getting up yet. It's good to do that sometimes um, because uh, you don't get hit uh, a lot of the times. So some patience with that is good. I gotta eat more rations here. Oh, I haven't planted a wire bug there. Let's plant one. Whew, okay. Uh, Tigrex is proving to be a difficult boy. Excuse me for a moment. Is he gonna sleep? Is he gonna sleep? Oh, he's gonna sleep and I don't have bombs. Do I have bombs? Oh my God. I guess we don't have enough bombs. We do, we do, we do, we do, we do. So we just want to be a little bit cautious here and we want to crouch like that. Oh, he's awake. He's freaking awake. I, so I don't want to, I don't want to start anything with him. Where is he? There you go, there you go. We got we got some good paralysis on him. We're gonna take this opportunity to do that. Oh yeah. We're gonna put a kunai on him. And then we're gonna do that. Ha ha ha, we did okay. Oh yeah, right in the wyvern. Now we're gonna have to find Miss Mizutsune. Damn, okay. I'm gonna fly to Miss Mizutsune right here, right now. Get all the damage that we can get to Mizutsune and to the Tigrex. Where is she? Where is she? Okay, I can I can see her now. She spotted us. We have 74. We're good. We're good. Okay, so we're gonna try and move to Mizutsune in a bit. In a bit. Okay, now we can go to Mizutsune, so we launch ourselves because we want the most damage for uh, both monsters. Do that. Ooh! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 we can do this. Ooh! My goodness. Who are fierce? Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna do mounting punisher at the, just just before that entire thing uh, fills uh, depletes. Okay, so we're going to make sure we get everything we want from Tigrex here. We're gonna do that kunai move. All right, and then we're gonna do that. Heart's broken on the Tigrex. Okay, we don't have um, white, white sharpness, so we have to, oh my God, my uh, auto. We're gonna sharpen as soon as the Tigrex does his uh, spinning move. Okay, we can do that. There you go, look at that. Look at that recovery time. I forgot to drink. Uh, adamant seeds, adamant seeds. Wanna do that. Woo! Woo wee! Okay, we can do that. Ah, uh, shoot, too expensive, too expensive. Is it hunted? No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. We can do a kunai, let's do a kunai. And then we can do all of that stuff. Nicely done. Okay, before it does that. Oh. Good, good, good. Our DPS is pretty good, pretty high. DPS means, okay, now he's asleep. Now we can kill him with some bombs. I'm gonna do this. Gonna do that, and then we're gonna try to 
to attack bomb from this point so that we don't hit the head. Go! There you go! So basically every sleep moment, I think it's a times three times two damage type of thing. Oh yeah! Oh! So it wasn't seen on camera, but um, I did a uh, super evade with my wire bug and uh, it was exactly perfect that um, the evade turned into a quick counter and the counter killed the T-Rex. Oh my gosh! Are we are we almost able to actually do this? Yeah, we're doing good, we're doing good. Uh, I just needed a little bit of practice. That was the case. <laughs> Not my best yet, but you know. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, so we're gonna fight the Mizutsune. I think it, this should be a good time for us to actually move back to camp and get us some supplies. And maybe we can eat an extra meal? Item box. Item box. Oh, not that. I didn't want that. I just wanted this. Oh, we don't have um, Mega Potions anymore? That's surprising. I guess we're just gonna craft a lot of it. We have tons of honey. I'm just gonna make a hundred. Man, um, old Monster Hunter days. Uh, just makes me, it just, just reminds me of how, how much um, just, not just grinding, but like just it's, it's not much of the uh, the the quality of life stuff that we have here. Oh, I didn't check if I could eat a meal. Um, yeah, in Monster Hunter World, they really streamlined a lot of this stuff, which is great. I love it. I'm you know, it's just amazing. Ah, we can't do polish anymore. We'll do stamina. Um. The streamlining is such a welcome addition to uh, to all of this. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I can actually go back to... Um, did we carve the Tigrex? I, th I, I hope we did. I think we did. Maybe we'll just do a quick check. Ooh, look at that jellyfish. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So we're going to run to Mizutsune. Yeah, what was I saying? So basically, uh, old Monster Hunter was crazy. Like, there's no wire bugs. There's no, like, click wheels like this. That was, like, really good. Whetstones were not infinite. <laughs> and you had to bring freaking whetstones. And you had to... Yeah, you had to find... Um, a lot of the whetstones in the uh, in the different zones in your map. The map was split out into different zones. So basically, like you had, you had like mini arenas that you had to go to. Armor skills were really difficult to understand. It was like armors had like armor points or skill points, and to activate a skill. You had to get up to 10 to 15 points per armor. My goodness. Just like, so there's just a lot. Like, the farming here uh, for, for, for stuff that we use, like honey, was... So I guess in Freedom Unite, they had, like, a quick farming um, ability there. But, oh my god, that was wrong. That was so wrong. That was so wrong. Uh, so I think Monster Hunter Rise is the fastest Monster Hunter game like ever created. Even faster than World. World being like super streamlined for a lot of things already. So Mizutsune is long and we want to actually utilize her length to do our um, this move. Uh, I can't do it. I have to I have to make sure it's that move is super expensive. 
Let's let's get the squid actually. Oh, thank you. I think that's Mako. Oh, for those who know, the name of my cat and my dog are the protagonists of one of my favorite movies, um, Pacific Rim. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, I really love that film a lot. Uh, I'm not saying it's a, a good film or it's a really um, intelligent film. <laughs> I'm just saying I enjoy the hell out of that game, uh, that that film. All right, all right. So we're gonna do this kunai. Move it up. All right, we're doing okay. Oh shoot, we gotta we gotta sharpen super fast because our mind's eye. That's what I'm talking about. Oh shoot, yeah. Don't wake her up. Okay, so what I what I just did there was basically that I jumped. I jumped. Um, and then my character did the spinning move over the length of the monster. If you get that from the head to the tail, then you get a lot of good damage. All right, so again, we're going to uh, aim from the monster away. Oh, okay, we hit the, the monster. So that was just, if you saw the damage numbers over there, it's just 150. I wanted to do a double, triple damage uh, because sleeping monsters get triple damage on the very first hit uh, that you, you, you get. That's why a lot of people are doing great sword hits, because if they get to the true charge slashes, which is the which is the single hit, the single strongest hit in the game, you you absolutely milk the moment. Look at that, that feels amazing. Well, we're not going to spam that because it's too expensive on our stamina. Oh my gosh, I think we're doing okay. But we only have 15 minutes left. We're doing okay. Get these uh, special buffs here. Okay, so I really like this armor set. <laughs> I like my cat suit. My literal cat suit. You'll see later. I have cat ears. My cat tail. A little uh, risque cat right here, but you know. My hunter's supposed to be agile. She's using dual blades. Come on, puppy, let's go. So we're gonna try and uh, sharpen at the four, so we get the full two minutes of. Ooh, ooh, oh no, this is bad. So water damage, as you can see on my uh, on my stamina bar there, it's blue. So we have water, uh, water blight and Water Blight basically lessens the uh, recovery time of our stamina bar. We don't want that, we're dual blade users. Oh, oh my gosh, bubble, bubble. Oh, that was a good chance for me to... All right, come on, come on. Oh yeah, she's down. Gonna do the kunai. Get all that damage in. Nicely done. Now we're gonna try to move through her length. Okay, she's back down. Gonna do another kunai. Oh shoot, that's far away. <laughs> Hate it. That was bad, that was bad. Okay, we gotta recover some stamina here. While we do that. Let us try to find some things to gather on the ground, like this guy. I want to check if I'm actually, uh, if I have a blight. Okay, no. All right, all right. So, let's do a quick sharpen, protective polish. Ah. Uh. 
So we're doing good because we don't have um, a faint just yet. We don't have a cart yet. That's great. Oh. Oh my gosh. Is it, uh, no, where's it back? Oh. Oh, 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 bubbles, no. So the bubbles are interesting. They are both a blight, so a status effect on me, that is, that is, uh, harmful. Basically, uh, my footing is not as, basically my moves, ah, oh, I got a Superman dive there. My moves, when I run, uh, have a little bit of delay because it's slippery. But there's also a bubble move for the Mizutsune armor, which is crazy uh, interesting. Yeah, it's, it actually gives... Uh, the more you evade, the more it bubbles up. And the more it bubbles up, it gives you... Um, it gives you uh, evade bonuses. I don't think that's better than Evade plus 3. Oh, look at that! That was the full length of the Mizutsune! Feels good. That feels good. Oh, yeah. Just a bit more! Oh my goodness, we're gonna do it! Uh, I'm gonna drink my Adamant Seed. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope I avenge myself on this stream. Ooh! <laughs> gotta do it, gotta do it, gotta do it! She's capturable. I could end it with just capturing her, but I feel like I should just like end it the proper way and uh, yeah, just slay her, hunt her. We're not called monster hunters for nothing. Mm, that feels so good. That was so good. We got the full length. All right, two. The uh, kunai- ah, uh, too far away again. Yeah, the, the trick there is to plant the kunai, do a quick evade, and then uh, fire it out. Uh, fire out your uh, XA move, which which basically does the multi-hit uh, animation. But that animation is tricky because you can't really cancel out of it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you only use it when you're quite sure that you can actually... Oh yeah! She's down! Alright, we're gonna do the kunai. We're not too far away, so this this animation is the... Oh yeah! That animation was the animation I was talking about that you can't cancel out of. Oh yeah! Avenged! Avenged! Zero! Zero if you're watching. I avenged myself. Now I have to avenge you! <laughs> oh my goodness, this this quest was not easy. Dang, look at these Remobras just being pests to my own hunt. Dude, dude, yes, we did it, we did it, we did it. Did it, let's see, use the weapon sets. Woo! Oh my goodness! That was great! That was great! So, yeah. Oh my goodness! I'm so glad about that. Two cats. Let's start. <laughs> Nothing. Didn't give me anything. Anything good. Dang. Okay, alright, you know, it's not about the rewards. It's not about the rewards. It's all about the journey. The journey to get there. The journey to get there was for me to create a new armor set and uh, get it done. So yeah, huh, great. I'm glad about that. Alright. Uh, I have to do all the other advanced quests, uh, soon, I think. Um, and we'll play more Monster Hunter in the future. So, uh, yeah. Um, 
wait, I was trying to do that. So I guess I'll see you guys. I'm trying to be dramatic with my exit here. See you guys next time. Bye.